Welcome back to Full Circle with Mwikali. A very good morning to you. This is when you send in those questions because even if you look the other side, money will always come up. Even if you're dating, there's an issue of money this other corner. So triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Benjamin Zulu is in the building and will definitely be taking in your questions in a bit. Karibu sana. You know, in so many words, you've tried to talk about money one way or the other mm -hmm. and how you've even given us tips uh, you've also given us tips uh, how to have uh, pool in our resources exactly. there are different ways to go ahead and do that mm -hmm. and one of the things let's start by saying that uh, you want to be careful um, there are men who have told me when he lost his source of income the woman left yes or she changed her attitude uh -huh. Now she's talking back at you. Now mm. she's put, reminding you that you're living at her masses. Mm. <laughs> that mm. even the chair you're seated on. You're Don't dirtify that seat. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know? Uh, and I, I always trace back to them. And I tell them, when you are interviewing this woman, you, you forgot to check that part. Ah, this should happen at the beginning. Exactly. The attitude of people about money is generally consistent. Generally. Okay. Mm -hmm. And most men over-impress with money. Hmm. <laughs> they, yes. They over-provide it and they forget that fluctuations in life can come. Yes. So that, yes, I'm earning, but all the money is committed to our construction, mm -hmm. to our project. Mm. Now you have to live on a lean budget. We can only use one car because we can't fuel both. Yes. <laughs> or the cars are mechanical issue and we can't attend to it now. Yes. <laughs> all right? The money situation, even if you don't lose your job, things don't fluctuate. The demands of life vary that's true right and i want men one thing i want them to leave girls alone because you don't know what that thing is <laughs> <laughs> that girl who looks innocent right? yes yesterday i was chatting with a 23 year old who was supervising the servicing of my car mm -hmm. took it to a garage and she's the one in charge of this car to be in service so we were oh, chatting wow. and she said me i swear by my ancestors never to watch your shows because you make me feel a little i told my mother to switch on that tv da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did the universe do? <laughs> exactly. So you're not going to watch me, but I'll so be there. She had covered her face, but I told her, I knew you were pre-25 by your body, but just the way you look. The mm. way you walk, your innocence shows. <laughs> Uh -huh. And she told me, yes, but you're so personal with the 23 year olds. I told her, what is my reasoning? Have you followed my reasoning? Yes. <laughs> so it's not out of nowhere. And the reasoning on only three points. She quickly changed to my unadded convert. <laughs> but I told her, there's a shift in thinking that is on way. Mm. And it will arrive around 25, 26. I told yes. her, you don't have to confirm with me. Check with those women who are 28, 30. Ask them when they were your age versus now. That's true. What they wish they did or did not do. But one thing they will tell you, they wish they never committed to anyone. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Another thing I told her, your dreams are at stake when you sign away your life before you know where you're going. That's true. <laughs> and I told her the other thing, your energy, the speed you wanted to move with life, you leave it outside the negotiation when you marry a person at this age. Yeah. You need to at least establish your pace in life so that when you marry, you know where you're going. Mm -hmm. So I told her, even if you don't know the psychology of the development of your mind, those are things are so practical. They're enough <laughs> to make you wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right? So the, I told men, you don't know her relationship to money when she's that young. Because she's she, many of them don't have money yet. We are the one who is more money than them. Yes. It's good you get to see when a woman is working out and how she manages her money, whether she's generous, whether she's liberal, or she's stingy. There are women who are so annoying, even in bargaining. You ask the price, I, I, I've seen guys who can't buy anything because the wife keeps torturing the sellers. I've seen it. And she's not the one paying. It's so embarrassing. The brother had already ordered, was satisfied, but when she showed up, she had a problem with the button, with the stitch, with this, with the other, with the other, until the seller was taken back and forth ten times and gave up. I have seen that women who are so miserable. We call them money uh, bagging demons. Ooh, they wee. torment you <laughs> with I... the money is so bad. They, a terrible attitude. Uh -huh. and if you study history, you, you see that sadist people have sadistic tendencies. Mm. It, it projects mainly in money. Oh. Even when you're selling your, project, your, your products, Michael, and your, a person starts by saying you're too expensive. Don't continue the, the argument anymore. Mm. That person is already attacking your judgment. Yes. That you are unreasonable, you are selfish, you are, you, you, they start accusing you. Whenever a person uses that term quickly, I disengage. I don't want their sadist energy into my, into no. my space. No. So I have advised men that because a woman can ruin your life when she has money issues. Even when everything else is working, this yes. one will, will show up everywhere. I, t I told you a guy who cannot buy a packet of anything, can buy 10 liters of oil, can buy a packet of tissues, can buy a packet of milk. Because she wants you to buy one, 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 just one at a time. 
That hundred bob you have to account to the last one shilling, and it's tormenting. That is tormenting. <laughs> so uh, th that's the warning with the men and women about money. Now, when it comes to you as a as a woman, the best thing to check for is a man who has a penchant, an appetite for loans, debts, borrowing. Yes. And I told you the first thing is if he borrows from you. Yes, you right. did. Yes. I told you that's a big warning. Another mm. warning is he doesn't borrow from you, but you realize you came to learn through other sources he's in debts, a lot mm. of them. Mm. That mm. man is unmarriageable. He will take you down to sales. You'll be locked up. You'll be auctioned. You'll be empty. You'll be taken. I tell you the truth. It's impossible. A person who's financially disorganized, it's impossible to live with them. It's they will sell everything. Those they'll, they'll auction. I tell you, you'll be sold out. <laughs> I will be, be put up on sale. <laughs> I like to Kweni Bibi. You know they, they steal your logbook. They take a loan with it. They That's steal. True. They master the pin of your 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 ATM. The they go too far away. Mm. They gamble. They look for shortcuts to make money. So that was the first one. The second warning is this: once you realize both of you now have us a working rhythm with money, yes. The next thing to do is this. Uh, I, I told you to work with the circumstance. We can't have a universal rule versus who should earn more because life changes. Yeah. Right? Circumstances change. And some, one of us could be fathering studies or in between jobs while another one is this way, this way. So what you need is a harmonious. And I told you the many systems that I've seen. One is called a pool system yes. where you don't pay the money. Just, I mean, you will bring the money together then we buy whatever is needed. Mm. Another, another place, there's no money involved. We just divide the responsibilities. Mm. Pay this, I pay the other one. All right? Mm -hmm. The other one is where if the, if the money I'm the main source you yes. manage me yeah. i look for the money you you pay the workers pay whoever pay whoever, whatever and i told you for people like me who are very busy busier than our wives we are looking for wives who can support us first of all mm. if she was busy as me if, uh, when i come here she's in another station yeah. <laughs> who will support another mm. <laughs> so it, it means she's so busy supporting me she's only now they, are, they can only work part-time Okay. Supporting me is only already too engaging. Mm. The clothes I have to wear, the outfits next to the show, da, 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 da. there's so much going on around me that like supporting me keeps her fully engaged. You understand? Yes. So everything I earn, she has a share in it. Do you follow? I understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, gonna cut. Exactly. Yes. So we are earning together. Although I cannot use a plural my money. No. <laughs> Everything I earn now is, is our ours. money. Exactly. Yes. So when when our arrangement is working this way, there's no point to split then. The money is already joined, co owned mm. by the time it arrives. Mm. <laughs> so I have to take up the priorities so our family needs our pocket money. Men like us, we have to give our women allowance because okay. she's working for us indirectly. Yes. yes. Other women cook and they make food. They also help their husbands. But ours go ahead. To look how you, to manage your image. Yes. I would have paid a person to manage my image that otherwise. Is true. To design my outfits. Yes. To make sure I'm ready, to, to help me manage my schedule, which is coming when to bounce ideas with me, to evaluate the show, so to, just to watch the show, give feedback, change the outfit, really check the. So she's fully it. engaged. Yes. So people like us, we have no option. <laughs> we have to give them constant allowance for a upkeep. The time will come when she's working. But I tell you the truth, if she was to take another as an engaging job like this one, she'll, she'll collapse. You understand it? Yeah. So I tell couples to work with what works for them, but these are the following rules. The man must always take leadership and responsibility. Louder Zulu. Whether it's who earning, I told mm. you it's not about the money here. Leadership is constant. That is true. Leadership is constant. Like the, the problems that are coming next. And I told men to start by taking out the trash. <laughs> yep. This is a show I do on Tuesdays and the same day when garbage collectors come around. <laughs> <laughs> so I finish show and run home. <laughs> and take the garbage. garbage. And yesterday I was discussing guys telling them it may look like those activities are not equal. Doing a show that is public and, and then do, 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 do. Kutua taka taka. <laughs> <laughs> So this other activity looks less glorious. Yes. Stinking things. <laughs> but it makes somebody else happy. Let it me tell goes you, those activities way. are on the same level. Yes. There's not one that is less glorious. And in mm. fact, I tell them, your primary support is your family. How happy they are, that's how high you rise. I mm. keep telling men that. How happy your woman is, how happy your children are with you, that's how high you rise. They have your, they, that's where you stand. The rest of the world here, many of them are haters. They're praying you calm down. Mm. You threaten them. Mm. You, you overshadow them. Yeah. <laughs> so don't think only about money. Think about responsibility, leadership, teamwork, friendship. And I remind men, when you are home, don't sit like a boss. You are a friend here. Yes. You are a dad here. Don't put your legs up there and you are ordering this one, ordering the other, ordering the other. I keep telling men to go to the kitchen and check when the gas is running out. Women forget mechanical things. <laughs> check whether the fridge is functioning. You can hear some things she has not noticed. Yeah. So I, I tell them, sometimes take, after you eat, clean yourself, take the plate, visit, see what is running out. Top mm. up before it becomes an emergency. Mm. <laughs> All mm. right? Get to, and I, I, I keep telling, keep telling my wife, if I, if I, if I lose sight that the soap was running out. <laughs>
Please. <laughs> okay. Yes. I don't want to be ambushed when I don't have money, then it's a crisis. Yes. I check and oh, in, in the next one week, I need to top up this. Next, no, no, no. I want to stay on top of my game to avoid petty crisis. All right? Yeah. Another thing I tell uh, men, so we have said even if she's earning more, but you are, you are hands on yes. at home. That is the most important thing. She will feel like she has a man. That's true. This time is not just about the money. So we have moved past. Let's, 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 let's use our money according to how we are earning it. But there are some things that are constant, yeah. like the leadership, the hands on, the practicality. Women can forget that the oil in our car needs to be changed. That yeah. the, the insurance is running due that there's a sound coming from the car. That there's some things that I have to keep my wife's car. It's part of my responsibility. <laughs> Occasionally on Sunday when she's, I, I move around with it. Just to feel and exactly. see. Till I notice this and that and I'm attending to it. Or mm. I, she feels that she doesn't have to bother too much about this and that. Did yeah. you notice the breaks of this? Oh yeah, I felt, but then, you know, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's I've a, sorted yeah. it. Right? Yeah. So I tell men, don't just sit back and think about money. Whether you're earning more or earning this, be in front there, taking care of those things. I told them another secret to all women that they never would grow happily for us. <laughs> Oh, women have a soft spot that is not taken away by her position. Whether she's the CEO or the janitor, this one is constant. Yeah. Their emotional need, the need for validation, to yes. be praised, yes. to be told her hair is pretty. Mm. They never tire of hearing that as long as you mean it. Yeah. Notice when she changes her hair. That's, we keep failing there as men. Yes. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I went to the salon. <laughs> Imagine looking forward to how I'll impre be impressed. And then, <laughs> up to remote, so happy. <laughs> so, I tell the, the notice when she does her nails mm -hmm. and tell her how to rouse you. But I like. think Zulu, you do a good job. Every time you walk in, you're like, Mikali, your dress is good today. <laughs> the colors are beautiful. I, I think the eyes get trained. I think, time. yes, Something I think she's like. doing a good job. No, 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 Somehow, <laughs> you learn through this. <laughs> Somehow, you're getting the hang of it, you which is mistake. important. You're and right. even like when, when you say it about leadership uh, in a family, we've come to just make leadership be about money. Exactly. Providing is not just providing money. Providing exactly. is providing the leadership, providing exactly. security, making exactly. sure that I feel safe, that I have a man who will change my bulb and the tap is misbehaving, who will fix it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I tell men, I'm one of the people who don't like mechanical things. From the from the time I was born, I knew I'm not mechanical. <laughs> I could but not make those are. toy vehicles. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Sarkazin was so good at them. Yes. I, I, but I was very good in other things. Imagining theories, yes. coming up with stories, writing compositions that teachers would read to enjoy the flow. Yes. <laughs> All right. But, so, but that doesn't mean that mechanical things are left to anybody in my house. I simply outsource. Yes. I pay somebody to fix the 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 the, 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 the radio, mm. the TV. I I oversee it. The same way women, not all women love cooking. Mm. Not all women love washing. Mm -mm. But if it's your duty, oversee it. Oversee <laughs> make it. sure it's done. Yes. Get somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. And make sure the quality is up to standard. So I tell men, it's not, so once you know this is your docket, and one of the things I tell men, that tell me your duties that are yours at home. Mm. I tell them, for me to keep humble, I take the trash. Yes. <laughs> to remind me, trash is what has run out of, what has become expired. It used to be useful. Nobody buys trash to bring in the house. Yeah. Trash is remnants of what was useful yes. or something that have, is expired. Mm. That also reminds me that as a, as a man, there's some habits that are expiring, relationships that ah, are expiring, ideas that are expiring. It keeps reminding me that if it overstays, it will make me become, my life will start stinking. The mm. same boyfriends I was with some time back, I've outgrown them, mm. but I keep going back to them. It mm. It's, it's metaphorical for me to oh, keep wow. cleaning my house, flushing out that is not useful. Zulu. I did not buy it in the supermarket. It, I brought a good thing, but this one now has finished its usefulness. I think this is powerful. Very powerful. Like if you don't take anything else from this conversation, please, that one. Do not be stinking because that is something that you're doing to yourself. We're taking a very short commercial, but please send in your questions because Zulu will be here to answer all of that. Triple one, triple four, triple one. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali Benjamin Zulu is in the building. We are talking about money and the conversations that we should have before getting into the thing that is called marriage. That is where the conversation begins. To Mambiwa Kunaoto Netwa Bagain Monsters. Bagain Demons. Demons. Bagain Demons. Kunaoto Nasema, hello Mukali, I'm John from Kirinyaga. Ah, see who you are, Yemeni. Kunamtu Nasema. Ah, say hi. Zulu is a man of wisdom. And may God bless him for saving the lives of many girls. Thank I you. don't know why. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's just the girls, but I feel like he's saving all of us. There's something I needed to, to mention to you. Yes. As I told you, I just saved one girl yesterday. Yes, you did. And she inspired me to start conferences for Pool 25s because ah. she told me if they interact personally, they get context. Yes. Uh, so I was telling you this. I told I told I told men that don't borrow money from a human your woman when you're wooing her. Mm. You lose credit. Mm. Remember, there are many people trying to get money from her. Yes. Don't put yourself in that bad category mm. of irresponsible men. Mm -hmm. If you want to borrow, borrow from your boys, borrow mm -hmm. from friends. You have other girls who are also friends. Yes. They are borrowable. But yes. the one you're trying to win, never borrow money from her. But after you marry her, you are a team now. Make sure she always has her own coffers. Yes. That way she can be a lender of last resort. Instead of going to cruel lenders, mm. Tala and whoever will give you on very cruel and short <laughs> term and interest, yes. your woman now can, when you are stuck, she can give you some money and be disciplined to pay it back so that in future it is still available. Don't exhaust your credit by not paying back. Mm -hmm. All right? So uh, we were coming to this. We we're saying how to, how to still, I mentioned that even when income is down, you can still play a leader. And yes. I said one way you can play a leader is be hands on with the children. Yes. Be hands on with the duties at home. Mm -hmm. Have your chores that you always perform. Be there physically for her car, for the bulb in the house, for, for, conversations yes. for the thoughts many men when income is fluctuated they also retract they become intimidated and timid mm. they become irritable and difficult mm. to handle that is detached true. and distant it's not your money it's her, your attitude that is sick right many women have been out earning their husbands for a very long time yes but they cover it from the world the world cannot tell Every check is in, her, in his name, <laughs> but she's depositing the money because the man is what? Present emotionally, listens to her with rapt attention, yeah. makes her feel, as I told you, there are some things women never to grow, appreciation, genuine appreciation of her beauty. Please. That is eternal. Mm. I tell men, that's one place you have monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> that's one place the boss, the whoever, the whoever can never beat you. That's if, if, in, an effort is so romantic. Man, can you learn that? Please. Effort uh, is another currency. Even if you're not earning thousands. Yes. But she sees you putting the effort. And I tell men, how much does it cost you to open the door for her? How much does it cost you to wipe the shoe for her? Those small things, and she feels, so oh my God, think it was thoughtful of you, all right? Yes. To remember her anniversaries and do that. And I tell, the, those flowers are so 20 pop. And even if it's not the flower, you can make tea for her. Mm. I, mm. I don't know who, who told Exactly men. how she likes it. You I know don't, what I mean? Exactly. Mm. I don't know who told men that true love is heroism, those big things, and running to the dark, so are you saying, conquering the world. <laughs> Zulu, are you saying that? You can be a leader in your marriage, in your family, by without serving. money. Yes. Okay. But, and we're not saying you're lazy. No. You're laid back. Yes. Circumstances push to there. Yes. I think I want women not to marry men who are stuck because you can't tell his That's true, true. character. Yes. When you're dating and he's in a crisis, buy time until the crisis passes. Because it might never pass. This might be his life. Yes. <laughs> Some people tell you, my business just went down because of the lockdown. But they are down to stay. <laughs> All right, yeah. and if you marry him, you are doing a rescue operation the rest of your life. Mm. So don't listen to the story of a temporary down downturn. Mm. Be a friend until you see how much he works his situation out, because the family one day will be there. Yeah, he, you need to see whether he has ability to come up. So we are saying, once you have seen that uh, the, the, it's, a, it's a man, circumstances are difficult, you should be restless. Okay, don't stay under your mother's, your parents' care for three years, four years, and you're just laid back. I told you laziness and financial crisis are very different. You can go through a financial downturn. And I told you, Mikali, don't look for where other guys to marry. Don't. You need a guy who has the character to make money and manage money. Okay. If he has money now, good. But remember, most beginners in life are not that money. We are working hard, but we have not yet had time to accumulate it. Mm. You'll accumulate it together. Mm. You can see he has beginner attributes. He's working hard, waking up early. He's moving, he's on the go. If he's on night shift, you can see how uh, excited he is at it. All right. Yeah. If he's on day shift, you can see how, how easily, how, how he attacks the day with energy. Mm. He shows up on time. You can see the spirit. Mikali, that's what you take. Please, some guys inherited money and wealth and properties, but they are lazy. That's true. That money will disappear soon. Mm. You'll be the one carrying him. Please study his energy. That is more telt that is more accurate about the future. So I was telling him the way to be very influential and in, in charge, yes. even when she's out earning you, is through yes. acts of service. Mm. It's through being handsome. It's through being attentive. It's through picking her, dropping the kids, being present. That activeness gives us so much fulfillment. That's true. 
and doing your best to get back on your feet. Because mm-hmm. as a man, it bruises your ego to ask for money. Yeah. Fill the car for me. Pay the insurance. Da, 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 and, all that. and you as a woman, if you have to assist your man, do it as indirectly as you can. Just deposit it in his account quietly. And let him do the thing. <laughs> Don't rub it in, in his face. Yeah. And again, as a couple, avoid this question of you spent how much on what. Avoid that careful accounting. It's very harassing. Uh, it makes you feel belittled. And it's yeah. like, there's no pride in that. Trust me with the expenditure and leave it there. Oh, that one is spent all right. So I can, it doesn't mean you can't ask questions. Mm-hmm. But don't be uh, micromanaging the partner. They feel be little. They are not a child. No, they are not. Don't ask them to keep a record of every coin. That is insulting of their integrity, of their maturity. Plus, would you expect the same to be asked of you if the things were turned? So even in relationships, be careful the things that you demand of the other person. Exactly. If you were not willing to take them. Exactly. And let me warn also those sisters who believe they have to keep secret money. Ah, sikuna ile statement yetu. My money is my money. Your money, our money. <laughs> that is not a good, it's pathological. It's popular, but it's pathological. And they tell men, once you discover your girl believes that she should not trust you with money, why should she trust you with her life either? That's true. If you can't trust me with your money, why are you trusting me? Why, why are you in the same room with me? Mm, <laughs> All right? Mm, mm. But this does not mean that you don't keep emergency money as a woman. Sometimes you keep some money aside, but you're not, st- you're not like uh, keep hiding. It's just for a rainy day. Yeah. Right. Not on a in a way out. <laughs> Malicious so, intent. Exactly. So mm. it's the intention why you're keeping money that matters. Yes. Is it because you don't trust me? That mm-hmm. is bad. But is it because you know life can turn left, right? And you always, you know, there are girls who are taught by their mothers never to spend everything they get. To always put aside something. Does not mean you always report it. It is, rec- if I know it's there, I'll, I'll budget for it. I'll use yeah. it. So yeah. sometimes you have to keep it quiet so that you can bring, bring it when you're in dire need. Yeah. That, that way I will even respect you more. You have saved us in a situation. All right? So for men, I tell us how to be ahead even when money is down, be hands on. Praise your woman, appreciate her, be present, show up, show the service, the energy, the mind, the mindfulness, the thoughtfulness, be present. Let her know she, you are at her beck and call. I say that when you're married as a man, your phone should not be at unreachable. Your man mm. can get a situation on the road. Yeah. And you're the first person who can rescue her. Mm. Give her an idea that can save the situation. Yeah. She's somewhere where you know you can get a solution for her. You call her mek, goes attends her, and she's sorted out. All right. Something happens to her. Sometimes um, I, t- I tell men that uh, there's a part about women and children that is similar. For example, when if she was, uh, there's a time my girl, the phone was snatched. You yes. see the kind of panic. You need to be there to rescue her because she can lose uh, awareness of situation. She can just borrow a phone somewhere, but she's the, the trauma. The, you know, men, there's a hardship, there's a hardness we have. Yes. The guys who snatched it were men like me. Yes. Why should I feel like the world is collapsing? You feel like <laughs> going after them. <laughs> you know, yeah. I just, uh, I'm, uh, phones are business snatched for me. It's okay, you are inconvenienced, but you're not collapsing. <laughs> yeah. But your woman can feel so exposed. Because sometimes they steal from women, they capture them, they rape them, so she can feel so confused. And that's you know, true. so that for men, mainly, mainly they just take away the stuff, all right? Yeah, so it's I tell men to mm-hmm. always be reachable. So mm-hmm. this is not about income now, it's about mm-hmm. protecting her. She knows she can always find you on phone, yeah. All right, when she cannot find you, she feels like she's lost in the whole world, all right? That's, that's how true. my children want protection, that's how your wife wants protection. The, the women in your life, that's how you protect, just showing up during times of peril. That is true. And having this conversation at the beginning and picking out the telltale signs that you want them in your life and that they will be able to manage money or they're managing money well at that point. Can we get to the question, yes, Zulu? Hello, Mwikali. I'm truly enjoying the show. Benjamin Zulu is telling men not to marry pre-25. I'm a 23-year-old and I'm married to a 30-year-old guy. We have one kid and so far so good. We do have family conversations working out well. What should we do to prevent the future failures that may occur? Our work on that. You know, those who got inside, they tell them to continue growing. Yes. Not to postpone their dreams. Yes. And to continue telling their partners what they hoped to do. Oh, and to absolutely. sell your dreams to them. Mm-hmm. Sell your dream. Don't ignore it. The biggest part, Mikali, about premature marriage is that you ignore personal development. Mm. You get focused on the, on the family. Yes. Only later to realize you have no identity. Mm. Only really that to realize you have no separate, you know, you need individuation. Individuation is compulsory. You need to be able to define you away from being a mother and a wife. You need to be able to say, 
I as Mwekali, I'm an influencer to young people. I have a message for the other. You need to be able to say this. Yeah. Then when it comes to family, yeah, oh my God, oh my dirty mother. Oh, you need to have those. Mm. All right? Mm. So your social identities and your world, corporate, career, dream, destiny, calling, these ones are the ones that save you from death, premature death. They keep you hopeful. Should you do this other life have shakes and all that? Yes. They give you a reason to wake up even when there's stress in your relationship. Mm. That's what I tell pre-25. If you lose that unique identity, yeah. the Depression will crush you. Mm. Any shake in your relationship will finish you. Any wave will, 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 draw, will draw you to anxiety. The thing that anchors you in this world is your life's task. That's what anchors you in the face of death of a spouse or anything, in the space of death of, of death of a relationship, death of a child. The thing that gives you another reason to wake up tomorrow is that you have a service to humanity. Please develop that. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Hi Zulu, I am married, 36. My hubby, 39. I'm in problem. My hubby is in debt, even from my bank. Parents, friends, no alternative income. I'm a housewife. What do I do? Why are you a housewife? That's not the problem here. Mm -mm. See, probably they were taking care of children. She, uh, those debts, his husband, not us. She did yes. not say our family. Uh, <laughs> she said him. Yes. Women would never borrow that way, by the way. Let me yeah. remind you, yeah. a sober woman who knows about future will never borrow that much. Mm. She would rather relocate home, we shall go to weather the storm. Yep. <laughs> and hide with her kids. And just eat simply, uh, share with mom, share whatever, to buy time. Mm. <laughs> to mm. let the cloud pass. Mm. Mm. There's, there's a saying about uh, uh, sunflowers. They usually, sunflowers look at the sun. They usually follow the sun. Mm. But when it's cloudy and the sun is not visible, they usually face each other. Until the sun is back. Couples use their financial, their career cycle to evolve. But when the career, the jobs, the money stops, yes. they should come together mm -hmm. to find a way to survive. Let me remind these people, because most women don't associate financial mismanagement with the divorce and crisis. If you don't run away, he will take you down with himself. He is going down. He is going down. And That's creditors, a lot. Like he's... creditors will come for you. Yeah. You will be street. You will be homeless. If you don't act quickly and rescue yourself, that man is at war with himself and you will be collateral damage if you don't get out. There's no amount, of, even if you gave him 10 million today, he will spend it and get back to loans again. It is, he is leaking financially. He has mm. loopholes, he has, he has leaks. And no amount of uh, replenishing a tank that is leaking can save the situation, That's except true. closing the leak. It is his mind, not the money, that is the problem. It is his battle, relationship with money. He has a, a things to prove to boys, to girls, to women, to whoever, by overspending. So by staying there, you're only enabling the situation. He has loans with her own bank, meaning yes. she has borrowed money for him. Yes. She has been the guarantor. Yes. And then she is housewife. Let me remind women not to stay home. Please, even if you are supporting your man, busy like me and all that, make sure you have your own thing. Even if it is him paying you or whatever, make sure you have some money that you can pay your situation. I gave you a, a classical example of your parents, your relative, being in a messy, shameful situation. Mm. Borrowed 300 from Tala yes. and they are being arrested. Yes. <laughs> you need to be able to rescue them without mm. announcing to the world, mm. to anybody. Just mm. send it quietly. You, you save the situation. The, way the, the sons of Noah noticed that he was naked. They went and covered him. You yes. need to be able to cover. <laughs> Your parents, your people, without announcing to them, eh, lend me some money because my father has been drunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he need be able to pay. And usually it's more money. It's never that big money. Yeah. Usually it's more money that is manageable. Then you whip them later, privately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We Hey. Hi, Mwix. Looking beautiful. Kama Kawaida. I'm Lillian dating this guy, but he doesn't provide anything. I handled rent and every other bill, but at the end of the day, he'll come home tipsy. Yet, Hannah Dating, Petsa. rent, coming home. This is not dating. This is madness. Dating, no sex, no living together is involved. You are, you are contracting trouble as you watch. You should have dated him without strings attached. No living together, no sex. So if he's not measuring your criteria, you pull out. Now yes. you're moving in with him. Now there's rent. Now there's living together. Yes. When did you pull out? You have destroyed your reputation. People know you are taken. Yet the person who has taken you, you had not even evaluated him whether he measures up. You are the idiot here. Hallelujah. You should have checked him before you came in. Stop complaining. He might be an idiot, but what are you doing in his life? Evaluate candidates before you come to their lives. This, this business of living together, having sex is not, it's not dating, it's madness. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> we have dated for two months. Please be nice to me, guys. See what I have to deal with. <laughs> I have a boyfriend we have dated for two months now, Nampenda Sana. But 
nikisema nisaidie juu akona do anasema corona imemua affect sana anasema ni kuwe mpole so what can i do ju siko job All right. So we said Michael you don't want to be money oriented with your boyfriend yes. or with your fiance or the person who is interested in you mm-hmm. but we are saying you need to be sure they will rescue you when situations come. Yes. So the best way to test whether a man will come through for you mm-hmm. indirectly make known to him your situation because you're conversing mm-hmm. daily. Yes. Once he knows you're almost being locked up mm-hmm. the landlord is kicking you out. Mm-hmm. Will he try to come through to your situation? Yes. Those are the tests. Mm. Don't directly ask for money. Send me 3000 for for salon. Don't do that. Mm. Let him know that you have been hoping to attend salon but you're still waiting for the money to come through. Once you mention like that, you should know whether hey did the man you are worried about something. When you are worried, when somebody loves you they are worried about what you are worried about. That is true. Amen. You don't have to pester it. Yes. If they truly love you, you are concerned, mm. they take it up. Mm. In fact, you are the one who has to comfort them, not Quelly. to be over worried. Yes. Ben Sawa. If you can't see that during dating, yes. where are you going with them? Hi. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> don't go. Hi. Most men don't take the responsibility, especially Pesa. I was raised in a family where my mom was everything. My dad was always away and working but providing nothing. Men should change. This is not a question. The women should change. Why was your your mother with him? Mhm. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. men were stingy, but what are you doing with them? Mm-hmm. You chose him mm-hmm. in the whole world. Mm-hmm. I want to ask people to allow people to be who they are. Mm-hmm. Your father decided to be a miser. So but why did your mother subscribe to a miser's life? Hey, can you choose? We have dogs and hyenas, but please can you marry men and leave hyenas alone? Hi. <laughs> Stop complaining about people's nature. They have decided to be that way. Yes. Yes, there's a need you to came at I'm 26 been married for 5 years. Imagine this guy that is beat me up. Imagine this guy doesn't want to you think you're describing him and you're describing your own idiocy. And I told her first of all, can you stop here? You're 26 and saying you're married for 5 years. You abandoned your development to jump to marriage and trust a man who will grow you, will provide for you, set a future for you. You are an idiot here. Good morning, Mukali. Watching from Muranga. My hubby looks for the list of my weaknesses to show me how much of a failure i am he doesn't support me with uh, the house upkeep worse still he gets to the kitchen to make his meals with what i have in stock ask zulu am i really married or living a lie i'm also wondering please be nice zulu this, this lady is very nini i mean you, you see the problem is not being nice to her because <laughs> some people say be soft on me is the li- is life being soft on you no, the reality is harsh yes. let me tell this girl uh-huh. he is miser he is responsible but the question is what are you doing in his life mm. can you remind people god did not assign you to marry a particular jemo or mina or benjamin you th- no man is your calling choose the person who works for you okay okay <laughs> i get it i get it Hi Mikali, when dating, should you be expecting money or gifts from a man? Question mark. I am dating one. He never gifts anything. I'm worried this may transform also in marriage. I want to ask women when they say a person loves me and he has never given you anything. Can you define love for me? There's mm. no love without giving. Love is generosity, sacrificial in fact. Yes. You're supposed to see him trying to go out of his way mm-hmm. to to ease things for you, to give you something, to remember yes. you, to be mindful. So those who keep telling me, I know he loves him, but how did you know he loves him? Because you have sex. Some of these people are idiots. Mm. They mixed the sex inside because the sex felt nice. They interpreted that as love. This is foolishness of the ordinary sort. We have many types of foolishnesses, but this one is the ordinary one. Hi. Tori from Embu. Leo na kusikiza kila mahali. I love the show. Zulu What of a man who's financially disorganized and now wants to marry? He realized his mistake and can't do uh, and can't do anything about it. He now wants to marry. So do you tell a lady that is quoted to him not to marry him? I think they're asking for a friend. No, it's herself. She's avoiding. <laughs> Don't lie to psychologists, you're wasting your energy. <laughs> They fought to lie. It was easy to convince <laughs> They're me. They fought to lie is too much <laughs> okay, <laughs> to avoid okay, to deflect okay, it. Okay. This is the thing. Why are you still asking the question? Can you live with him as it is? That's the only question. Yes. Again, we can can you can we also uh, announce I can never advise you to marry a particular man A or B C D. I'm not interested in who you marry. No. I ant- I I only ask you wh- whether you'll be happy this way from what you see. And we said Mikali we are not choosing whether to be married or single. We are, will never be miserably married or miserably single. single. We are looking for happily, happily married, married 
or happily single. single. Thank you. That's happy it. is the common thing here. Yes. Life is already harsh as it is. Yes. Jesus said tomorrow will bring troubles of its own. So we know tomorrow there will be troubles. <laughs> Michael. I'm not a, a prophet of doom. No, I wish not. you a happy life. Yes. But I want to predict something for sure. Tomorrow we'll have rent to pay. Do we have fuel to? Prices yes. are going up. Economy. Corona. T -t -t Tomorrow we'll have worries. Why are you, sub why are you subscribing to other stinginess, miseriness of another man, irresponsibility, flightiness, aloofness. Why are you subscribing to other issues? Isn't your life already heavy as it is? It is. Thank you. Pick a person who lifts the weight for you, yes. not who adds the weight for you. Benjamin Zulu K. I can see this guy. Yes. <laughs> the chemistry here is on another level. Zero seven zero one two nine nine triple three. Take out the trash in your house and in your life. Do not be a stinking, walking human being. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Thanks.